Yes, Mr. Layton. Mr. Harper. And Jill Decept. So you're all willing to debate Elizabeth May, the head of the Green Party now. How big of you? You're, you personally are going to give her her democratic rights, are you? You and that consortium of news suppliers should all be put out of business, as far as I'm concerned. You tried to take away something you didn't have any right to take away. It's the same as what you've done to the injured worker. You've taken away our, our, our basic human rights. And now, of course, we don't have any news coverage. We don't have any, any, any rights at all. Now we're on YouTube fighting our fight. But it's all the same thing. It's all some fascist that's trying to get his own way or trying to bully somebody or, or uh, you know, trying to be the big boy in the schoolyard. That's what it's all about, that money. And uh, you practice, you will, all three of you practice democracy. As long, I'm four of you, actually, because I'm going to group the liberals in, in, in on this, too. You practice democracy only once every, every election time, and that's when you talk to Joe Canada, i.e. the public, into coming and voting for you. And then after that, you ignore him. You pass bills that, that he would never pass in your wildest dreams and never never expect you to, to pass because I'm quite sure that most of the Canadian public, when the, they passed that uh, Administrative uh, Tribunals Act, they didn't know what the hell they were passing. And uh, this document, is a, it, it's a Stalin. It was written by Joseph Stalin. It takes away all our, our, our rights as injured workers, gives all the rights to the employer. I don't believe if, if the Canadian public, the general public, really knew what injured workers were really going through, they, they would rise up. I honestly believe this, because Canadians are great lover of lovers of freedoms and rights. We're always talking about rights and freedoms. But it's not free. It was fought for. The color of rights is red because they were bled for. Same as freedom. Somebody somebody didn't come home because uh, uh, they're lying over in a foreign field because they were fighting for the rights of the people that are, are here now, in, in, in this world now. And we forget that. We forget about our old veterans and, and that when we should be really talking to them because those are the guys that went and fought for these rights and freedoms we always talk about. Mr. Mr. Layton, you owe all those veterans an apology. So do you, Mr. Harper. And so do you, Mr. Dosep, because you as much as slapped them in the face and told them, hey, you didn't even go over there and fight for any reason. <coughs> That's why they went. So somebody like you didn't come along and say, you don't have that right. Well, excuse me, but they did have that right and do have that right. And you should write a, a letter of apology to Miss May for your actions because you, frankly, I find what you and those other two parties did was despicable. And one day you're gonna have to look at what's being done to us. And when you go to the, the, the these uh, memorials for injured and dead workers, maybe you should uh, hang your head in shame. Because you know what's being done to us. I wrote you, Mr. Harper. I wrote, uh, uh, I don't believe I wrote Mr. Ducep, But uh, I did wrote, write Mr. Harper. And I wrote Leighton. And I wrote his coat, uh, Carol James and, and that. And all I got was, 
oh, we can't get involved in individual cases. Well, excuse me, well, you can get involved in an individual vote. Why can't you get involved in an individual case? Or at the very least, have somebody with some authority and power look into it. But that's not what you do. You shuffle it off to the garbage can and that's, that's it. Nobody ever hears from you again. And uh, Mr. Puckmeyer is a prime example of what he's pulled in his little uh, jaded past. Now, they say that he's went to court. I've never seen any transcript of any trial or anything else, but he sure did a number on that Olympic uh, boxer, I can tell you that much. Uh, and I got absolutely nowhere with him or his uh, then uh, political advisor, Tony Flagel. I got absolutely nowhere with him, no help at all even though I played for them tape recordings of, uh, of uh, employers blacklisting me. Now, they've managed to destroy everything uh, in my life. And you want to talk about freedom and democratic rights? You don't know anything about it, Mr. Uh, Harper, or Mr. Layton, or Mr. Duceppe. Until you see that see your life go down the toilet like a lot of us injured workers have and all the avenues in which which uh, we were uh, able to use to fight for our rights the medical uh, review board gone taken away uh, the judicial review down to 60 days nothing murderous gets forever to file an appeal, a judicial appeal. I don't even have the same rights as a killer. Uh, all, they say, oh yeah, we've, uh, we've uh, gotten rid of these to expedite. That's their favorite word, expedite. Yes, expedite the fraud being committed against the injured worker. Yes, sir, that's what it's all about. And you know it, because all those big businessmen, they're all contributors contributors to the political parties and you, you know full well that uh, you're not going to do anything to step on their toes you don't mind crushing us injured workers well maybe if us injured workers started uniting and voting as a block that might be the idea voting as a block could you imagine huh. we go in there with 200,000 votes you'd be on your knees so quick it it, it make your head spin and we could do it this is the start of it and you're gonna see you're gonna see it it's gonna start to happen more because I'm just one in the army there's gonna be hundreds of thousands of us this is gonna catch on and sooner or later these news news people if they want to remain on the television are gonna to have to start re reporting the real news about uh, Mr. and Mrs. Canada out here that are being trod upon. But I look forward to this debate. I'd like to see uh, Elizabeth May take a round out of the, a round out of use people. I think I'm gonna contact her and ask her if she'll uh, ask some questions about the injured workers of this country. It would be uh, good if she did. It's about time we got some justice in this country. I'm tired of hearing misery. Everywhere I go, I hear about the WCB doing something to another person. And after a while, it gets, gets so sickening after a while. And then you see them outside, outside walking around the buildings at, at lunchtime there, and they're taking pictures, and oh, they're one big happy family. You could just see it. Well, it's not nice. If I have anything to do with it, we'll close that place down. Or at the very least, we'll reform it to where it should be and should never have left. But it's a fight that's going to be long and hard but uh, with the right people involved I believe we can do it and with this 
we can use this internet the way it should be used. <laughs>